A Central Australian Indigenous community is combining two cultures in the classroom and helping kids learn better along the way. The Walpuri theme cycle curriculum was developed by elders and is now a key part of the Uindamu School's bilingual approach to teaching. It's ceremony day at the Yundamu school and students are performing a dance they learnt earlier in the term. At this school, the curriculum includes both Western and Walpuri knowledge and teachers from both cultures are in every classroom. We are together helping one another. If she's doing um, English, reading, writing, I'm there to help her. When I do my Walpuri teaching, she's there on the side helping out with me. Alice Nelson has been teaching in Yundamu for 28 years and says the model works well. It's better for the kids because they're learning the both way. It's not easy running a bilingual school, but the school's leadership say it's worth it. At the end of this three-year planning cycle, around the Walpuri theme cycle, we will have done the heavy lifting for what should set this school up in a pretty good position. This bilingual approach to schooling has the backing of all the major players here in Yundamu and has some wondering why other schools across the Territory aren't following suit. I think there needs to be fresh thinking around education, particularly bilingual education. The evidence points to kids learning better at first in their mother tongue. Former teacher Barbara Martin and the Walpuri Education and Training Trust have been instrumental in pushing the Walpuri theme cycle curriculum into schools. They need to learn their language, to read and write, and in second language, English. The organisation uses royalties from a local gold mine to fund the program and are nominated for a national award for their efforts. It's not government money, it's... You know, not company money, it's money that they've got and they're spending it wisely and they're looking generations down the track. I've got a son and I, he, he went through bilingual and he's got a really good job now and I'm really proud of that too. Two cultures, one goal, a better future for Yundamu. Oliver Gordon, ABC News, Yundamu.